Welcome to NASDAQ channel, special interviews. It's our great honor to have uh, Nobel laureate, uh, Professor Robert Huber. Huber, right? Uh, he got the Nobel Prize in Chemistry, 1988, for the determination of the three-dimensional structure of the photosynthetic, uh, photosynthetic reaction center, center right? Okay. Uh, professor, we have some questions that we hope you can inspire the young generation uh, by your answer. First, uh, what do you love the most about science and research? Well, science and research yeah. means to discover mm -hmm. something new. Yeah. I like to compare it with uh, medieval sailors. Mm -hmm who sailed the ocean mm -hmm. and did not know where to arrive. Yeah. And they discovered a new island, mm -hmm. you see, and explored it. Yeah. This is how I feel mm -hmm. uh, having a new experimental mm -hmm. result, in mm -hmm. particular in my field, seeing a molecule for mm -hmm. the first time. Nobody has seen it before. I am the first one. Have to, to imagine see it. It all the way. Well, you can, you, you, you know you are working on that, mm -hmm. you, 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 you can let your fantasy mm -hmm. uh, work uh, how this yes. beautiful little mm -hmm. thing might look like, it, yeah. and then you see it. Mm -hmm. This is great, it's wonderful. Uh, well, and of course, it often means also that you not only see mm -hmm. a molecule for the first time, yes. but you understand its function. And if it is a molecule that has to do with uh, diseases, mm -hmm. you, you can think about modifying its activity by uh, designing small molecules that mm -hmm. may interfere with it mm -hmm. in a patient. Mm -hmm. So there is some application uh, too. But like a medieval sailor mm -hmm. who uh, sails out uh, into the sea, you also might find nothing. There is no island. That's right. You work hard uh, and there is nothing. You, mm -hmm. you, you, you obviously failed to discover anything. Yeah. And this is unfortunately in science and research often the mm -hmm. case. This is part of uh, our business and we should not be deterred uh, by that mm -hmm. from doing research because this event of this lucky event of seeing something new mm -hmm. outweighs everything mm -hmm. else. This is one aspect and the other doing science and research in my position yes. as an old mm -hmm. person already uh, retired since some time. Mm -hmm. I love to uh, have in the laboratory young people mm -hmm. uh, with Yes. enthusiasm for their work, uh, to discuss with them, to let them uh, do what they like to do, to encourage them. Yeah, this is, by the way, also one of the reasons why I like to come here to the Asian camp. Mm -hmm. uh, I see 200 or 300 mm -hmm. uh, enthusiastic young people. Uh, this is fun. And this is also science and research, and a privilege of a scientist and a researcher to have that. I like it. I love it. Oh, so you can feel energetic when you come to yeah, this kind yes. of event. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So how to how you come up with a good question, good idea about what what to ask? Normally, people, new scientists, found many problems about it. Well, my kind of, my work was from the beginning when I uh, was studying chemistry uh, and went to crystallography mm -hmm. was to understand how crystals, mm -hmm. which you see everywhere, yeah. salt crystals, mm -hmm. sugar crystals, mm -hmm. yeah. or minerals when you walk in the mountains, 
I wanted to find out how they look like, what uh, makes their shape, yes. how do they look inside. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so I came to, to crystallography and then uh, later to the crystallography and crystal structure determination of large protein yes. molecules. Again, always with the question, how do these molecules look like? Mm -hmm. And for that, you need uh, certain steps in the process. You, you have to make these proteins in pure form. Mm -hmm. You have to crystallize them and then carry out the uh, crystallographic analysis, which was uh, uh, adventurous. Uh, in the early times of crystallography because we had to develop instruments, we had to develop methods, but it was uh, great uh, fun. Mm -hmm. Do you have any general suggestion how, how to make a good question in research? Well, of course there are in, in uh, the field I'm working on uh, proteins often very big ones yes. that we would like to understand mm -hmm. and as I mentioned already uh, in particular those proteins that are involved in disease mm -hmm. uh, and then to help in, in designing and making molecules that interfere with these disease generating proteins. This is called drug design and drug development and for, for that purpose you need to have information on the detailed atomic structure of the drug receptors. Yeah. And this is what, what we are doing. Therefore, uh, I always uh, was interested in this application mm -hmm. side and uh, had many collaborations mm -hmm. with uh, pharma industry during all my, my career. So it's very good examples of your impact of your research. Uh, right. I mean, there are some uh, ideas, strategies mm -hmm. which are based on our academic research mm -hmm. that uh, found uh, uh, application. Yes. Uh, it even concretely led to the foundation of uh, biotech companies. Uh, one that. Uh, is uh, uh, working exactly in the field that I always did, namely the analysis of drug receptors. Yes. Uh, the other one is again based on academic research on antibodies. Antibodies are the molecules that uh, recognize foreign material in, in us and yeah. eliminate it. So we have been working on those structures. And then also on their receptors, founded a company mm -hmm. uh, which uh, was quite successful and recently yeah. uh, acquired by Big Pharma for big money, not for me, <laughs> for the investors yeah. and for the lawyers in the program. <laughs> <laughs> but the founders, I was an uh, founder, it, it was great fun because mm -hmm. Now uh, the project continues mm -hmm. under the umbrella of, of Big Pharma. Oh, yes, that's and, great. And yeah. Do you have any uh, factor, anything that influenced uh, children to become a great scientist? Anything well, uh, let, let, me, let me say first that I have four children. Uh -huh. None of them yeah. became a scientist. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I do remember uh, my eldest daughter, now she is uh, 53 years mm -hmm. old, uh, a successful business person. Uh -huh. Then we discussed this question. She said, mm -hmm. Papa, I do not want to do what you did. <laughs> so it was, a neg <laughs> negative, it was a negative example, obviously, for yeah. them. Uh, on the other hand, I had many students uh, over the years, substantial number, 15 of them uh -huh. became professor oh. at academic institutions wow. around the world, mm -hmm. very proud of them, mm -hmm. 
I think I influenced them and uh, many of the other doctoral students I had in a positive yeah. way. <laughs> <laughs> Not my own children, obviously. <laughs> so you, you don't have any special answers for, for no. that? <laughs> Well, it was quite nice today to uh -huh. speak to the Asian camp uh, students uh, and uh, they asked uh, many questions afterwards, mm -hmm. 10 or 15 or so, quite, uh, quite, quite here, yeah. quite yeah. well taken, Good well taken, yeah. well taken. I enjoyed it uh -huh. and I will meet them tomorrow in uh -huh. a more round table discussion. Yeah. Yes. So I look forward. Uh, I like to speak. So you to hope speak this to kind of Oh, yes, very yeah. much, very much. Yeah. Uh, okay. uh, right. So how to convince people, non-scientists, to, to see the importance mm -hmm. of science and technology, especially the well, politicians? Yeah, <laughs> of course. Uh, uh, what can we do? Uh, mm -hmm. Inform them uh, what we are doing mm -hmm. and uh, for what uh, eventual application of yep. what we are finding. Uh, but, but if we look back or even uh, look what, what, what is happening uh, mm -hmm. around us, yes. so developing new medicines, yes. developing new drugs, mm -hmm. developing plants that uh, are uh, growing on poor soil, yeah. uh, the energy problem. Yeah. that we have, uh, how to harvest uh, solar light better than mm -hmm. uh, the solar cells that we have now. Yeah. Research, mm -hmm. and often ba basic research, mm -hmm. uh, you see, uh, because you never know. So if, if you look at the key discoveries in the yeah. last 50 years. No, nobody, I, I think, who made, all the scientists who made these key discoveries could not imagine yeah. what came out of their right. uh, discovery. Think of the transistor, mm -hmm. the, the, the change to yeah. the, the world, the, the communications yes. system. Uh, and, 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 many, and, and many others think of uh, gene technology, yeah. personalized medicine, we yeah. are thinking, out, coming, we are yeah. thinking is, which is coming. Of course, it needs to know more about uh, the uh, gene architecture of, uh, of, of a patient. So, so all of this was basic research mm -hmm. yeah. uh, with no idea uh, at the time of the discovery mm -hmm. of how, how it may may develop, and this is what you we should tell. It takes tell. Some time it, takes, it takes time. It takes often several decades. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, do you have any short suggestions mm -hmm. for the young generation? Mm -hmm. How how they going to be the good scientists? What what you advise mm -hmm. them? Well, it very much depends on, 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 on the person. What I realize is that many of the young people yes. really do not really know what they would like to do. Yeah, they have true. to find out more about their mm -hmm. own mm -hmm. personality and what they really mm -hmm. like to do. Mm -hmm. But then, uh, if they have found that out, uh, then do it with all their energy and enthusiasm, uh, a young person uh, may have, it, uh, it pays off, definitely. But I also would like to, to add to the, pro the discovery, it needs, it needs an open mind, yeah, you, you see. Yeah. Uh, so my recommendation to the young people is during their study, even if they mm -hmm. focus on a certain yeah. subject, yeah. to look around the neighboring fields and mm -hmm. Uh, visit lectures, read uh, books and yes. popular science uh, publications. Yes. So to, to stay in, informed because, as I said, the great discoveries need an open mind, uh, That's you, right. you see, That's right. uh, to recognize that this is important and this yeah. should be continued. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much right. for sharing. It was a pleasure. So, uh, 
yeah, open mind and focus and look around. Yeah, that's a very good reason for today. Thank you for uh, viewing us. Bye. Swami. Goodbye.